April 7, Tuesday of the Holy Week A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. John Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side, So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he met. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas the son of Simon the Iscariot. After he took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. So he took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified. And God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself. And he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me. And as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now... I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you. The cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord One of you will betray me. No gospel account specifically describes Judas receiving the bread, body, and the wine blood. In John, Jesus hands a deep morsel and gives it to Judas, and immediately Satan enters Judas. But John does not describe the Eucharist at the supper, so nothing can be made of the morsel given to Judas. And then, will Jesus' body be an instrument of condemnation or curse? Some point to Paul's warning about eating the bread or drinking the cup of the Lord unworthily. This invites judgment on oneself. That is why many among you are ill and infirm, and a considerable number are dying. Paul's general admonition might be a remembrance of Judas, who ate unworthily and soon died violently at that.